Hello, Pattaya people. It is Saturday, May 29th, 2021, and thanks for joining me on another episode of Soy Six Saturday, your weekly show that gives you the update of everything Soy Six. All right, let's get this party started. It is a beautiful day. Not too hot, not too cold. We got a nice breeze coming off the water. And just to give you an update on the lockdown status, restaurants are now open, bars are closed, masks are mandatory, beaches are closed, small gatherings are banned. So pretty much the same as last week, but we're making the best of it. And yeah, it's about noon, everybody's out and about getting food. Okay, so I just met this guy. He's a fellow Michigander. He's from Detroit. I'm from Kalamazoo, so it's good to see some old school homies here in Thailand. What was your name, man? Um, Teddy. Teddy, and you're what are you doing here? What what's what's uh, going on in Thailand for you? Right now, just teaching, and you know we haven't started yet, so uh, just kind of traveling around, you know, when I can. Okay, and how you're based out of Bangkok or around Bangkok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work around the Bangkok area. I work at like a, uh, I guess I work at a high school. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the status of the lockdown in Bangkok? Is that? Uh, I think it's kind of the same everywhere. It's, same. Uh, you know, some things are kind of a. Most things are closed. You can definitely go to some places and eat. Uh, there's a handful of places that are like maybe you can have a drink like if you're sitting outside somewhere but you know alcohol inside they're a little bit um, strict about that right now okay and how do you feel about the lockdown you think we're opening soon you think we're gonna you think uh, we're gonna be another couple months before things are back to normal what, what are you feeling right now uh, it feels like a little bit like it's getting back to normal but it, with the bars and everything I think they're trying hard to not reopen them right now. Yeah. Uh, I think everything else will open. Uh, once the uh, national parks reopen, I think a lot more things will open. But I think the bars are kind of trying to keep that right closed because of, uh, you know, they're saying that that's where the COVID is coming from, like the clubs and the bars and stuff. Right. So, Okay, well, cool, man. I appreciate you taking your time, and uh, it's great to see another Michigan guy here. What are you, a Lions fan, Pistons fan, Red Wings? What are you in? Nothing? Or uh, I'm, I'm a, I like Olympics. I like, Olympics. Uh, yeah, I like Summer Olympics. Okay. I'm more into you know like boxing and um, I forgot what they call like deadlifts and stuff like that. I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. cool, man. Well, I appreciate you taking your time. This is Teddy from Detroit. The last couple of weeks, this business front has been under construction and they were doing tile work uh, a couple of weeks ago and you can see they must have finally got it done. It's for rent. Uh, the front tile looks great. And yeah, if anybody's interested, call this number. You can set up your uh, Soy 6 bar here. Opening a bar in Pattaya is very risky. Most of them fail just because there's so much competition. But right next to Slice Pizza, there's one that just popped up, and I'm not sure what this bar originally was, but it looks like the exterior is in fairly good shape. Not sure about the inside, but let's take a closer look here. 18 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms. Uh, there's the phone number, guys, if you're looking uh, for an investment opportunity. During the lockdown, most of these bars have adapted. Almost all of them have a YouTube channel and they do live streaming every night and the girls will be dancing on camera you can buy the girls drinks through paypal and they'll dance for you and it's kind of a cool way where they can uh still make some money and yeah i don't know it's not the same obviously as being on soy six but it's a nice alternative so search your favorite bar here on soy six and chances are you can find their youtube their facebook instagram they're usually streaming on all three platforms so it's a good way to uh stay in contact and see what's going on down here there is somewhat of a double standard regarding filming down here on soy six meaning filming is generally frowned upon although you're being filmed all the time and if you look 
up on this pole, you can see a camera pointing directly down the street. And most of these bars have two or three cameras, sometimes a half a dozen cameras. Soy 6 in general literally has a hundred or so cameras filming at all times. So despite uh, you not being able to film, they can film you. And I kind of get that. Most, you know, girls, they don't want to be filmed in a bikini or in lingerie. Most of them are dressed in skimpy outfits. They don't want to be on YouTube. They don't want to be on your Facebook. So I get it. And the same goes with tourists. You know, this is a short time street, a red light district. Most tourists don't want to be seen on YouTube in a red light district. So, you know, I can understand. Although last week I was filming and one tourist walked past me. I wasn't even filming him. And he was like, I don't want to be on camera. And I was like, right, you're not, man. I'm not, I'm not filming you. You're okay. And then I just pointed out, I was like, look up there. There's a camera pointing right at you. There's cameras all over the street. You're on camera, man. That's just part of it. So yeah, just something to think about when you're on Soy 6. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up. Hey, thanks for watching again. This has been Soy 6 Saturday. I'm Austin Garvelink. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and party hard.